So the most shocking fact about traumatic shock is that once uh, patient starts to bleed significantly, they can enter a self-perpetuating this spiral that will kill them even if the surgeon successfully stops the bleeding. This is known as the lethal triad of trauma. It's a vicious self-implying cycle of three components. Coagulopathy, so impaired blood clotting, as the patient bleeds, they lose clotting factors. As they resuscitate it with uh, intravenous fluids, the remaining factors are diluted. This makes it impossible for the body to form stable clots, so the bleeding continues. Hypothermia, the low blood, low blood uh, body temperature, body temperature low, the patient is often exposed in the trauma bay and they are receiving large volumes of room temperature fluids and cold blood products. As the core temperature drops, the enzymes that drive the entire clotting cascade became paralyzed. So a cold patient cannot clot, which leads to more bleeding. Acidosis, acidic blood, the massive blood loss leads to poor tissue fung uh, perfusion. The cells switch to anaerobic metabolism, producing large amount amounts of lactic acid, making the blood acidic. An acidic environment also paralyzes the clotting enzymes. So an acidotic, an acidotic patient uh, cannot clot, which leads to more bleeding. So we've got triad, coagulopathy, hypothermia, and acidosis. Okay? And this creates a death spiral. Bleeding causes hypothermia and acidosis. Hypothermia and acidosis cause coagulopathy. Coagulopathy cause, causes more bleeding. So the cycle spins faster and faster until it becomes irreversible. Yeah, it's a point of no return. It explains why some trauma patients die in the ICU after a successful surgery where all the holes were plugged. The lethal triad was already in motion and the patient's physiology could not recover. So, the understanding of this triad is the entire basis for modern damage control resuscitation. The goal is to normalize the blood pressure with fluids, but to break the cycle. So, it's not to normalize just the blood pressure with fluids, but to break the cycle. Stop the bleeding, first of all, of course, immediately. Surgery, tourniquets. Second, warm the patient aggressively. Fluid warmers, warming blankets. Third, replaces blood early as one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one ratio, packed red blood cells, plasma and platelets to restore clotting factors, not just volume. So the amine is not just the injury, it's the physiology. It proves that in severe trauma, you are fighting two, two enemies at, the, at once, at the same time, the anatomical injury and the patient's own collapsing physiology. Get it? Good. Stay blessed.